Hi, I'm Bill O'Reilly. Thanks for watching us tonight. Murdering cops in Dallas. That is the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. In a vicious act of domestic terrorism, five Dallas police officers were shot dead, seven others wounded when a hidden terrorist armed with a semi automatic assault rifle and a handgun targeted cops at a peaceful demonstration. Police say 25 year old Micah Johnson, a vet who served in Afghanistan, planned his mass murder after hearing reports of two black men shot dead by police earlier this week. We'll get to those incidents in a moment. Johnson, the terrorist, was killed when police unleashed an explosive device. The suspect is deceased as a result of de detonating the bomb. Uh, the reporting that the suspect killed himself is not accurate. We've confirmed that he's been deceased because of the detonation of the bomb. Our hostage negotiator did an exceptional job getting this suspect to talk before he died during the hours of negotiating that eventually broke down. The suspect said he was upset about Black Lives Matter. He said he was upset about the recent police shootings. The suspect said he was upset at white people. The suspect stated he wanted to kill white people, especially white officers. At this point, investigators say Johnson was not a member of Black Lives Matter or any other radical group. There were three other people taken into custody, but police now believe they were not associates of Johnson, that he did act alone. Speaking from Poland, President Obama said this. Let me just say that uh, even as yesterday I spoke about our need to be concerned as all Americans about racial disparities in our criminal justice system, I also said yesterday that our police have an extraordinarily difficult job and the vast majority of them do their job in outstanding fashion. Talking Points believes the vast majority, as the president said, of American law enforcement are honorable people. Less than 2% of all arrests made in the USA involve any kind of force by cops. However, there are too many incidents where minority Americans are being killed or hurt over low-level beefs. That's the truth. And law enforcement leadership must compel their own individual agencies to act with restraint. I support the police. You know that. And I do not believe they are targeting black Americans in general. I don't believe that. And the stats back me up. But again, fatal mistakes are unacceptable, and there are too many of them. If you watched the factor last night, you did not see analysis of police in Minnesota killing 32-year-old Philando Castile in a traffic stop. You did not see that. On Wednesday, we did cover the police killing of 37-year-old Alton Sterling in Louisiana, but we used restraint in our report with Martha McCallum because all the facts are not in. I did not do the Minnesota story at all because facts were sparse and emotions white-hot like Ferguson. Any thinking person had to know hate was in the air. You don't have to be a black man in America to know we have a serious problem with police killing black men. And we're in the 21st <laughs> century of high-tech lynching. Do you think African Americans are being hunted? Yes. Facts don't lie. I mean, you're literally getting death sentences in this country for being African American. I trust law enforcement to a certain degree, but my question is, can you please stop killing us? But even worse than those provocateurs was the governor of Minnesota. Would this have happened if those uh, passengers, the driver and the passengers were white? I don't think it would have. So I'm forced to confront, and I think all of us in Minnesota are forced to confront, that this, this kind of uh, racism exists. And uh, that it's incumbent upon all of us to vow that we're going to do whatever we can to see that it doesn't happen, it doesn't continue to happen. Now, Dayton may be right in theory, but you do not. You do not throw a rhetorical bomb like that just hours after a horrendous death at the hands of police. That's just dangerous to law enforcement. It's Dayton's job to provide calm, not to inflame the situation. Huge mistake on his part. 
back to last night. While the Dallas protest was peaceful, at the same time, the Black Lives Matter crew, the Inflamers, were in Oakland doing what they always do. There has been some damage here on the side of the police department headquarters, Oakland police. The windows shattered, red paint thrown out about, and the words murderers scrawled in that red paint here on the side of the building. At the top of the freeway, I have to tell you, it's sort of festive as the protesters are making a line, they're sitting in the middle of traffic. Some of the demonstrators actually jumped up on a tractor trailer. Number of arrests, destruction, the usual. So here's the truth in summation. Micah Johnson was a hater and a terrorist. Black Lives Matter inflames rather than illuminates. It is essentially a hate America group. Law enforcement leaders should make fair dealings with minority Americans a top priority. Finally, we as a nation need to fight the racial madness that is harming the USA by being fair ourselves and calling out the haters wherever they may be. And that's the memo.